just started our um, European tour on our motorcycles. Me on my CRF 250L and my wife back there on her um, drum MSX125. We're going to be doing about 5,000 kilometers through Europe. That's the plan. We put it all on a map by looking at uh, interesting roads for motorcycles and we're starting from Bucharest, Romania and going south through Bulgaria to Greece along the Greek coast then uh, taking a ferry either from Greece or from Albania to Italy and then going along the Italian coast going up through Italy and then taking a ride into Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia and then back home to Romania. We have about 40 days to do this. It's roughly 5,000 kilometers in 40 days, which is doable, but we're really not used to, to riding every day. We are going south from Bucharest towards the border with Bulgaria. Yep, that's the plan. Not even sure why I want to record all this. I guess I think I have stories to tell. I mean, we all do, right? We just... We don't know how to tell them or uh, we don't think they're interesting enough or we're interesting enough. But everybody's got stories to tell that other people can relate to. Right, I said there wasn't uh, anything interesting to record, but look at this. What if we fall down here? That'd be interesting to record, right? So, we're not really supposed to take this route. But you know, it's... Look at this. It's so cool. <laughs> right? I don't even know what this is. Stay tuned for more of that. <laughs> now we got lost for a bit, but then found the main road again. We are... what's going on here? People doing work stuff, right? Agricultural stuff. Um, I'm not navigating, I mean, I'm not following directions, if you can see that on my map here. I'm using Osmand maps and I just plotted a, a route. So what I basically did at home, I looked at interesting motorcycle roads. There's a, there's a website, maybe, maybe Best Biking Roads, something like that, and you can find them on there. But then I preferred to kind of like manually tie them, tie them together. Uh, and then uh, they're offline maps, and then you can plot routes. So I did that on my pipe, on my iPad, because the screen's bigger and it's easier to to work with it. And I just follow those um, biking roads that I found to be interesting. It's usually like curvy, mountainous, coastal scenic kind of roads and I try to tie them all, all up together to create this 5,000 kilometer loop through Europe. Hopefully we won't get lost. We've got uh, walkie-talkies, these um, Motorola talk, talkabouts, is it? Talk back? Talk, what is it? It's, uh, let me check. I don't know, it doesn't say... Maybe talk aloud. Talk, tap a talk. talk. Talk a lot. Talk about. Check out this road. This is cool, right? It's forest tunnel type of road. Got lost again in the meantime. Figure it out. Now, now I'm uh, looking at the map north up. I can tell which way I'm going, which is towards the south. It's 
wanted to show you this uh, really nice road we got here on our way to Giurgiu, which is close to the border crossing to Bulgaria. border crossing to Bulgaria, our neighbors to the south. This is the long line of trucks waiting as they usually do for these border crossings. I've often wondered what this type of life must be like. I always hear the pay is good, but standing in these lines, oof, it's got to be tough. Right. So on our motorcycles, we're just gonna try and overtake everyone. I don't. I never feel comfortable doing that at at border crossings. But then again, I don't feel comfortable sitting in this heat. To stop for a bit, because we stopped to pay the bridge toll. The bridge troll <laughs> who was actually the bridge troll was actually a very nice guy so we stopped to pay <laughs> to pay the bridge troll and um, there's nothing to pay for motorcycles because we're crossing the Danube here this is the Danube over there let me stand up so you can better catch a glimpse of it This is the bridge over it, and motorcycles cross it for free. It's nice, it's very nice. I guess we don't put a lot of strain on it. On our way to Ruse, Bulgaria. That's my wife right there, by the way. We just went through one of those disinfecting things. It's just squirting waters at the bottom, from the bottom, through this gutter, and that was it. And this was the queue, which isn't that much, to be honest. I'm just gonna go in here in the shade, all conspicuous, and say that, yeah, that's, that's how this works. And figure it out. I just thanked the guy behind me. Might as well have everything ready. Bună ziua. Mulțumesc. Welcome to Bulgaria! No, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna steal that from uh, YouTube Boots. That's her thing. But this is Bulgaria. We're going towards Veliko Turnovo. That's uh, about 110 kilometers. skipped on Veliko Turnovo, let's just skip it and go to Lovic, Lovic. and uh, we've booked something here and these are the last 10 kilometers. I don't know how much we rode today, but it was easy going, it's 4.15 in the afternoon, we started out at what, 11? So that's only five hours. Um, and um, 
it's nice and cool here compared to the main roads because of this forest it's pretty hot out today and I'm guessing this whole trip is just gonna get hotter and hotter as we progress into the summer and also further south right Lovic this is not Lovic this is Casa Kazachevo I couldn't read the upper part of that sign that uh, that's uh, Cyrillic right that's what it's called invented by the famous Cyril who was um, you know kind of like yep yeah, you know what I'm just gonna mess up the whole alphabet and just like make up sounds and signs and yep this three is a z or whatever my wife can read it she doesn't understand much but she can read the signs the letters you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna put the the address of the actual booking that we have on a map because i don't have it i don't want to go to the center of lovich It actually says police on the police cars in Bulgaria. I'm glad they don't write this one in um, Cyrillic. This is a nice area, right? This is Lovech. Okay, it's pretty cool. One kilometer away from from our destination. We're gonna make a right here. This is cool. Bogamiash beep. I love it. <sighs> it's the second time this happened. I got to record it live. Mother beep tires or asphalt or whatever the beep it is. Bii de la cauciucurile astea Acolo și aici, da? E că sunt ok Și acolo, da Can't believe it Înregistram Da? Da? Da check the bike and everything and get back to you
This is our very nice room in the luggage. And we've already filled up with stuff. This is the stuff we carry. There you go. My backpack, her backpack, her tail bag, my tail bag, my tank bag, my helmet, her helmet. Uh, that's a drone. Those are my boots. And those are her knee protection thingies. And a tank bag, did I mention this one? Yeah, my tank bag. Yeah, and our very nice room with a lovely view. I uh, have the curtains drawn because, um, yeah, I'm actually naked as I'm uh, filming this. I was checking out the uh, the wounds. I was licking my wounds after the fall. Nothing bad, but man, oh man, am I, have I got to investigate why the asphalt in Bulgaria is so slippery or if my tires, the Midas E07 Plus, are sh**. Maybe, I don't know. Done, I took a shower. And I didn't, I went to the shop to buy something to drink. And to ice my uh, wounds, actually. So the damage report is that I have a swollen hip, something, and uh, a tiny bruise on my knee. I have no idea how I fell. It's the, um, uh, the asphalt. That's our working theory. Bulgarians put something in their asphalt. That is I went what there we and I can, I can, uh, it's very slippery. Really? Yeah. You went back there? So, yeah, with my boots. It's very slippery. Walking it's the is second slippery. time I fell in Bulgaria. The first time in a U-turn, where I saw like these uh, black marks that looked like rubber marks, and I thought, like you see in the Formula One and MotoGP, where the rubber is, that's where the grip is. So I tried to like cut a corner, sort of. It's a spider, and um, it didn't work. So I slid, and almost exactly the same thing happened today. I bruised my knee, not my elbow this time, and um, I broke a strap on the rear tail bag. Um, I, I haven't, think I can fix that. Yeah, we can probably fix it. it. I haven't had a chance to look at the bike. I know the, the shifter is a little bit bruised, just the rubber and sure there's some scuffs here and there. Nothing bad. Nothing sounds strange. It's funny that I got to record it because we were like 800 meters from our Less destination. Than that, because yeah. I could walk. Oh yeah, yeah. It's super close. Mm -hmm. but we were very close to our destination. And it just happens. I could just feel the feel the rear tire slip from under me. But yeah, it just felt like whoosh, straight down. Nothing I could do to recover. And I was going slow. I'm gonna look at the footage because I'm curious now how fast I was going, but it felt slow. Right, I've uh, yeah, we've uh, we've arrived at our destination, and we're gonna have some beer. This is yeah, zero percent alcohol <laughs> beer, and um, because we are heavy drinkers, yeah, we're not. <laughs> and uh, I think that's it for today. Maybe walk around Lovec, Lovec, for a bit. This is a really nice place we're at. You can notice the floral pattern behind us. This beautiful work of art, but actually the surroundings are pretty cool. Check this out. It's kind of a nice secluded garden terrace thing. Yeah, and you already saw the room. There she is, my beautiful battle scarred. The drone as well. Let's check for damage. So these took a hit. I painted this part before. I'm glad the welding is still strong. And here as well. Um, this took a beating. Yep. This part didn't touch the ground this time. Oh, this part did. Right here. And 
this is new. I yeah, this is definitely new. So this this part this part and this part. Right? That's the triangle. And there. Well, it's, it's a triangle with four sides. And this one, this has never happened before. It's annoying. This is broken. I can... Oh, this is completely broken. And this thing that I can't replace. I'll have to tie the whole tail bag somehow. Yeah. Hopefully that's pretty much it. Some band-aids. That's what we can do. I didn't even bring bring almost any tools with me this time, except like this little bit of tape and this. Come on. These are my tools for the trip. Everything. These, and this, and this. And that's it. This is everything we have. This is where it happened. Trauma coming back. And yeah, this this mother Beep. asphalt is so slippery. It's weird. It's like the the rocks are polished. Look at that. Fortress of Lovich. <laughs> Looks like this, the way up. came up these stairs in search of the fortress and then we ended up with this guy <laughs> Doesn't even care. Hello. <laughs> Stop breathing. <laughs> Goodbye, doggy. <laughs> day, 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 day. That's it. We got an itch to scratch. No? Okay. Hello. What type of dog is this? What type of dog are you, sir? Or ma'am, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi. Somewhere in the center of Lovich and the alphabet, courtesy of Mr. Cyril. This is the Lovech Bridge, covered bridge. It's after seven o'clock, so we're not allowed in here, but 
Yeah, that would have been a nice view of the river. Already pretty familiar with the uh, Lovech. That's the bridge that takes me to the roundabout where I dropped the bike. And this is the river and this is the covered bridge which is visited and that's the area where we're not allowed anymore. Pretty cool, right? Look at those colorful little houses and then the bridge from this side. 